You had a chance here, Walter, to do something that fucking mattered. So we learned a lot of history behind the Flynn and the CBI beef after this was revealed during the sit down where Tommy wanted them all to unite and work together. But the synopsis of season 1 of Force told us that the city is already divided by race, but it goes deeper with these two crews that dates back 20 years. And after Walter Flynn agreed to meet Diamond, their meeting went south, a deal which Vic Flynn knew wasn't just good for their family business, but this was their way for them to sell any beef that they had with the CBI so they could move forward by expanding. But the history between them runs deep even before Vic joined the family business and definitely deeper than the information that Walter and Diamond gave us. So in this video, we're going to run through some interview quotes, the history and the future of the Flynn's and the CBI, but also Walter Flynn's background and the answer as to why he kept his Scottish accent and why we're going to learn even more about his backstory. But let's start with what Isaac Keys said about the beef between the Flynn's and the CBI to give this video some background and context and he's the actor who plays Diamond. Now he said, I think it's important that they show that because Chicago is known to be a very divisional type of city. Like Diamond comes from the south side, the Irish is on the other side and we really don't interact. And I do think it's going to continue because there's a lot of history between Diamond and Walter Flynn. And Walter Flynn has some ideas in his head, a storyline in his head, the things that he feels that Diamond and the CBI represent and some things that they've done. Diamond's not really concerned about Walter in a sense, but all the stuff that starts to come to the table as the season comes along, it starts to come out that you're getting all of these different things and it's like being in a relationship with somebody, oh you felt this way about me all this time and I didn't know it and you're starting to see that as it goes. So that's what Isaac Keys said who plays Diamond and what we learn in episode 3 is definitely just the beginning because as the season goes on, we are going to learn a lot more about this beef. But before we get to the meeting, Tommy was someone who sensed an opportunity with these bricks that he found from Liliana, which I think could very well belong to the Serbs or the Jimenez cartel, because they definitely showed us Tommy paying attention to this card for a reason. But Tommy had a business proposition for Walter with his coke, but Walter telling Tommy that he would rather work with the CBI boys was a complete lie, because I really don't believe that Walter had any intentions of working with them, but he did ask Tommy to set up the sit down with Diamond after shit went south with a buyer that Walter wanted Vic and Tommy to do business with. So when it came to the meeting between Tommy, Diamond and the Flynn's, this was a deal that was a no-brainer for all of them because it allowed Walter to move his pills down south in the CBI territory but it also gave them access to the coke while it also allowed the CBI to move their powder up north. But notice how when Tommy was explaining how things were going to work, Walter wasn't even paying attention to Tommy. His eyes were firmly fixed on Diamond. Because even though Walter Flynn asked Tommy to arrange a sit down with Diamond, I really don't believe that he had any intention of doing a deal to work with the CBI. Because firstly, he showed his true colours with his racist ways. He's also way too stubborn to change his ways and his business model and only he decides how things are run because it seems like he lacks control over every single aspect of his business and also because there is a lot of history between the two crews that involves Uncle Paulie's wife. When you rolled up with Paulie and his wife, remember that? Beth catches a face full of glass, 52 stitches to put her beautiful... So this is where we were given a history lesson of the Flynn and the CBI beef 20 years ago, where we learned that Uncle Paulie's wife got a face full of glass, needing 52 stitches, and the blame went to Diamond and the CBI, but he was adamant that it wasn't him, and I do believe him because he's someone who showed us that he thinks before he acts. He's also learned that being violent and killing isn't the way forward. But if Diamond wasn't responsible for what happened to Uncle Paulie's wife, then who was? Could Diamond have actually been protecting his younger brother Jannard? Because we all know that he's a hot-headed one out of the two. So could Jannard have actually been the reason behind the beef between the Flynn's and the CBI? I definitely think it's possible. And judging by the quotes from Isaac Keys, and something that I'm going to go through with Walter Flynn, there is a lot more background and history that we're going to continue to learn. But in retaliation, Walter Flynn buried 9 of Diamond's men and he said he would have buried 19 more which is why Diamond never retaliated because he wasn't prepared to lose any more of his men. And maybe this is where the disagreement actually began with Diamond and Jannard because where Diamond said he didn't retaliate, Jannard is someone who would never have took that shit. He's definitely someone who would have stood his ground and fought for the CBI and possibly even taken it to the Flynn's because one thing we've learned from these past couple of episodes is that Jannard and Diamond have different ways of running the CBI and I do think Jannard would have taken more of a violent approach than a calm approach that Diamond took because Diamond is someone who's proven to us that he thinks before he acts but I do still maintain that Jannard shouldn't be underestimated 
because he's playing the long game. And of course, only time will tell whether Jannard will regain his control back. But one thing we are going to continue getting is these history lessons from Diamond, Jannard and the Flynns. So let's move on and talk about Walter Flynn in more detail. Because Walter Flynn not wanted to do business with the CBI because of his pride, his ego, racism and his stubborn ways is definitely going to contribute towards his downfall because we've already seen Vic Flynn and Claude rebelling against Walter and doing their own shit. We're watching Claude Flynn work with Mai with this new product that she's got her hands on and then we've got Vic who tried to hold Walter back in the sit down with Diamond and Tommy because he's someone who's definitely seen the chessboard the way Diamond and Tommy are. Was our chance to make a change. Explain the business in a real way. If we don't, we're extinct. And this is where we're now going to see Vic Flynn going behind Walter Flynn's back and working with the CBI himself. And we're not going to see this history or beef get in the way of them doing business. So Vic is going to put all his allegiances to one side and work with Tommy and Diamond. And I really am surprised by the maturity that Vic Flynn is showing because I thought he may become jealous of Tommy after he saw him with Gloria but it does seem like he's not letting that get in the way of business because he said it himself, he doesn't say no when there's money to be made but he probably doesn't blame either Gloria or Tommy because he knows himself, he can't be with Gloria for as long as he's under Walter because he calls all the shots and not just with business but who Vic marries because we've learned this through the conversation between Gloria and Vic and also his character description which tells us that he's the heir apparent to Chicago's largest crime family, a prince who lives with his heart as much as his fists. Vic resents the fact that his father has mapped out his entire life for him, both in business and in love. So now we're going to see Vic creating his own path with business and sooner or later he's going to have a choice to make when it comes to Gloria because she's made it clear that she's not going to wait for him and there's also another love interest who's Tommy. So Walter isn't just standing in the way of the Flynn family business from expanding, he's standing in the way of Vic and Claude's futures. And in the world of power we all know this doesn't end well as Ghost once told Tariq that he got rid of Breeze because he got in the way of his future and then we saw Tariq killing Ghost for the same reason. But I do believe there is a lot more story left with Walter Flynn and definitely beyond season 1 because Tommy Flanagan who plays Walter Flynn teased that there is a lot more backstory to be explored with his character because he kept his Scottish accent for a reason and he said this is a part of the story, the Irish gangster family but he actually grew up in Glasgow. His father then took him from Ireland to Scotland when he was a kid and then Walter went off to Chicago where he took over and now that Tommy Egan is in his town that's a bit naughty so we're gonna see what happens to Tommy fucking Egan. So he sees that he's gonna get a lot more backstory when it comes to Walter Flynn and this is why I think he's going to be around for a while despite him suffering from an illness and those around him going behind his back. So that's the detailed background of the Flynn's and the CBI beef and how this is just the beginning of the history that we're going to learn about Diamond and Walter Flynn who they're going to explore in more detail. So drop all your thoughts down below on the Flynn's, Diamond and Jannard and of course if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already then remember to smash the subscribe button if you want to see everything Powerbook 4 Force and Power Universe related. But as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.